You got anything else? Yeah, I've got a couple couple of bits here. So um, th- there's there's stuff out there. Like so, it it was very much like reported that Cody's going to win. Cody was on course to win the WWE title, and Cody's in course to destroy Against Roman Ro- Billy. The, yeah, th- there was yeah. it was some, it was there. Yeah, I've seen these reports and whatnot. Right. Like that, my understanding is is that uh, from um, Vince taking Vince handing over to Triple H. Nothing has changed here for the Roman thing. In fact, um, the idea now is more opponent creation for Roman as we move forward. So um, whereas we now have um, Karrion Cross will come out of the match with McIntyre uh, ready to challenge. Uh, with Cross, you then have um, uh, Braun Strowman on the other side. He was supposed to get a title shot as well. And then obviously, as you head to WrestleMania, they're going to bring The Rock in. After The Rock... Um, they still haven't gone back to Seth Rollins, who's another opponent that can wrestle him. Uh, and then the list, as you run through the roster, is just endless for guys that they plan to push up the card. Like Finn Balor is is now being pushed more by, by Triple H. Um, so this whole thing, I mean, I haven't got an exact list of names. The only thing that I do know for sure is that um, Cross will get a shot and Rock will come in for Mania. And Randy Orton is now going to be out of the Royal Rumble because that was the the scheduled match. But they will, if Randy Orton does come back, um, he will end up facing Roman. And that's a, that's a big if because, look, Orton's got his worst injury. He's done a lot in wrestling. It's not a guarantee he's going to come back. It's not even a guarantee that Big E comes back. And Big E is a guy who's had a career half the length of Orton. But half the length of Orton is still like, 11, 11, 10, 11 years. So when you look at the New Day merchandise sales and the con- and the and the second contract that Biggie signed, he's already a multi millionaire. And you don't think about these people. You don't think about R Truth owning six properties and and everything that he has because he's a you know a bottom of the card guy. But he's a multi multi millionaire as is Big E. And of course, Randy Orton is because after John Cena. He's earned the second most amount of money from the WWE with $77 million is what ran. $77 million career earnings for WWE? Yeah. Wow. Have have you seen since (laughs) Billy's car? (laughs) Could you imagine like you go to radio, you hear that, you go to radio order's house, he lives in a dump. (laughs) He drives drives like a 94 Camaro or something, right? Well, Uh, I mean, he had... He had five years at he had two five year deals at four million dollars a year. So, yeah. but just just on just on the last that's end of it, that's ridiculous that's, money. It's incredible. Good for them. It's not as much as Punk. Probably to work more. Punk is going to go through like hey, we said. You they, can get they, it. You can get it. The, the I mean, Billy you can. Yeah. Punk, Punk Punk got his dream deal at AEW because <clears throat> he basically got the Brock Lesnar deal. We don't have to work that much or show for work that often. And when they buy out his contract. His end, his end game will be uh he, he will have made four hundred and seventeen thousand dollars a match. <laughs> it's like it's like Brock numbers, right? 